Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. And uh, more and more these days, and I think you're gonna see it a lot, especially this year in 2009, cell phones are becoming as much, if not even more, um, as much about voice calls as they are about other services, texting, email, and now more and more social media services. Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, you know, all that stuff, people want to use their mobile phones to stay connected to those things as much as they do anything else. I was recently at Macworld in San Francisco and I was at one of the, uh, one of the parties that one of the, you know, the, the tech companies threw. And uh, I didn't know anybody there, so I was kind of walking around and I saw this woman who was on her phone, kind of standing by herself, just tap, tap, tapping on her, uh, on her iPhone. So I went over and said hi and asked her what she was doing and she was Twittering. And, you know, she kind of sheepishly said, uh, I was Twittering to my friends, I'm here at this party, instead of talking to people, you know, I'm Twittering with you guys, because that's all I do. I don't even talk on the phone ever. I just use it for email and texting and Twittering. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at uh, two of the more capable and popular devices on the market right now. The Apple iPhone 3G for AT&T, and the BlackBerry Storm for Verizon, which uh, even though I myself have not been a big fan of, as you uh, may know from the other videos, check out all the videos we've done so far on the Storm and actually a bunch of head-to-head -head on these two devices. You know, the, the Storm's been a big deal. It's the first all-touch BlackBerry, first touchscreen BlackBerry, big deal for Verizon and RIM. And uh, as much as I'm not a fan of it, there are a lot of people who really like it. So we're gonna check out Facebook on both of these devices because not only can you get to Facebook via the, uh, the web browser, but these devices both have their own special Facebook apps. You can see on the iPhone 3G, there's my Facebook app, and on the BlackBerry, there's a Facebook notification up there in my notifications bar. And uh, if we dig in a little bit deeper to the, uh, the menu here, you will find, there it is. You will find uh, I have installed the full-on Facebook application on the Storm as well. So how did these two devices stack up just in terms of their proprietary Facebook apps? Let's take a look. All right, so here are the home screens for both Facebook apps. Both are free downloads. Uh, the Facebook apps, you can get the Apple one from the App Store and the, Face and the uh, BlackBerry Storm. This is running on the Storm. The Facebook app across different Blackberries is generally the same, but there are differences between the different Blackberry models. So, you know, this is Storm specific. Uh, and this app is available as a free download from the Application Center, which is uh, pre-installed on the BlackBerry Storm. When you've got it on Verizon in the US anyway, you've got the Application Center and I downloaded it straight from there. So uh, in general, <clears throat> so uh, in general what I would say is that the iPhone Facebook app I think is the most useful of any of the Facebook apps that I've tried. Uh, I've also checked out the Sony Xperia X1, the Sony Ericsson X1, has a really kind of cool Facebook app with a visual interface. We did another video on the, uh, the video review of the X1 shows the Facebook app, so you can check that out. But it's got a pretty unique interface that's really fun, if not quite as full featured as the iPhone interface. But um, basically, you know, on, So you can see right here on the two on the two apps, I've got my status updates. Um, the uh, the iPhone app has more options for getting around. So I can go from home, you know, I can look at home, and from home I can look at you know different aspects of my news feed, and I can kind of scroll you know across, and I can see my different apps and my different uh, groups that I have that I'm subscribed to, that kind of thing. I can click to see my notifications here. Some people have written on my wall. I can go through that. I have some new friends, all that kind of stuff. I can look to see my requests. Uh, I can take a look at my info, take a look at my friends. I can change my photos. I can add a photo, update status, all that kind of stuff. Uh, somebody's asking about Gadget Dog Daily. We're kind of revamping all that. All you Gadget Dog Daily fans, we're kind of revamping our, our video strategy here for the new year. So stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, I can go to my inbox, I can search, I can send messages, write a new message, all that kind of stuff. I can just hit the button there and I can write a new message to any of my Facebook friends. So pretty cool, very functional on the iPhone. Uh, it's really a nice app. You can really just get around to you know all of your, your main Facebook stuff. Not everything. Can't play Facebook games, all that kind of thing. But you can definitely get around to a lot of your different Facebook stuff. Uh, 
by way of the Apple Facebook app. It doesn't rotate. If I rotate, just to show you, if I rotate the Facebook, my iPhone, the Facebook app does not rotate. The BlackBerry app on the Storm, if I rotate the phone, the app will rotate, which is kind of cool. So you can go, you can get access to the widescreen keyboard if you prefer, uh, or you can go back and you can use the landscape keyboard. So that's kind of a nice feature of the BlackBerry app. Uh, otherwise, you know, I can uh, I can enter something here. So Noah is shooting a video. A bidep. I'm not shooting a bidep. I'm shooting a video. There we go. And I will update. Right. I'll update. There we go. And it's updating my status. And I've shot a video. Uh, and I can go back and I can look at, I can upload a photo so I can get something off of my camera. So, you know, similar functionality to the uh, iPhone there. I can view my friends list and it's got all the status updates. I can invite a friend, which is nice. I can poke, I can run somebody's wall, I can send a message. Um, so again, you know, similar functionality, uh, not quite as in-depth in terms of your, your number of, uh, you know, kind of sub-menus as you have on the iPhone. But uh, definitely, you know, both pretty useful apps and a nice kind of quick way to get straight to your Facebook stuff without um, having to access the actual website. Now you can see on the BlackBerry, you get your Facebook notifications up in your notifications bar. On the iPhone, you get them uh, on the little app right there. One thing that uh, you know neither of these have that the new Palm Pre, at least in the demos, looks like it has, is kind of a real you know operating system level integration. And what I mean by that when I talk about operating system level integration is that. Um, you know, the, the Pre, if you've seen the demos, it has kind of an integrated messaging center and it gets push notifications from your email, from your SMSs, from your, your Facebook account, all that kind of stuff. And it lets you know kind of all in one spot, kind of unobtrusively, oh, you've got more Facebook, you know, messages or you've got requests or whatever, that kind of thing. So it's kind of, you know, in some ways, it's kind of comparable to the way that, uh, you know, you've got your notification up there on the BlackBerry, but it's kind of the next level, at least for what it looks like from the demos. So you can just deal with Facebook kind of the same way you deal with your other messages without having to go into the app, or at least you get that kind of level of notification. I'll have to actually play with it to see what the deal is. Uh, iPhone fans or iPhone followers or Apple haters uh, all kind of know that you still can't do background push notifications on the iPhone. I would assume, I would hope that that's coming soon from Apple so that you can get kind of an extended level of notification on the iPhone. For now, this Facebook icon with the 38, that only updates when I log into Facebook. So when I actually tap the icon and I go in, then things update. They don't update automatically in the background. Now for a lot of people out there, you know, they probably still don't care. But uh, if you're watching the video, that means you're probably interested in stuff like Facebook. And you may want to have that notification system so that you don't have to keep logging in. Because, you know, for people who use these services, not just Facebook, but like I said, MySpace, Twitter, you know, whatever it is that you use, a lot of people use these services more and more as, you know, some of their primary means of communication and networking in addition to or even instead of, you know, email or, or SMS or IMing or whatever. And so really the next step with these phones as they become more like handheld computers is to get that full-on integration so without logging in, you know you get a push notification right away without having to manually fetch it. You know, oh, I've got new Facebook requests. Oh, I've got new, you know, tweets from people or direct messages on Twitter. The same way that you get, you know, notifications that you have new emails. Uh, for now, you know, that functionality is non-existent or limited on uh, these two devices, the Storm and the iPhone. So you've got your uh, apps to rely on, but I think in the future you'll see more and more of that. Just to show you real quick as well what the full-on websites look like. All right, so both devices, uh, when you log in on Facebook, you get mobile formatted uh, versions of the site by default. 
and you can get to the main site, the desktop version, on both phones, but the iPhone 3G version on top, or the iPhone version on top, BlackBerry Storm in the bottom, you can see the iPhone version looks a lot like the iPhone app in terms of the way it's laid out, the way the menus are and everything. And uh, you can rotate this one to go from widescreen to uh, the vertical orientation. And it's kind of nice in the widescreen, I think, because this way, when you type things, uh, if I were to do a search, I can type using the widescreen keyboard, which I kind of prefer on iPhones. So that's kind of nice. And then on Storm, it's a slightly different look, uh, the mobile look. But again, you know, you have access to different stuff. The menu system isn't quite as, you know, it's not laid out quite as attractively as the iPhone version, I don't think. But still pretty good functionality. My new updates up top. I can update my status, get to all my different things, scroll around, view photos, all that kind of stuff, which is great. Um, and you can also get, we'll click on full site here. We'll do that on both devices. Full site. Oh, and it might make me re-log in, actually. And so here's a look at the, uh, the main Facebook website, the full desktop version on both phones. Uh, the iPhone 3G or iPhone on top and uh, the storm loading up on the bottom and you can see they both do a pretty good job. They both have the same quirk that uh, the bottom bar there when you scroll up that notifications bar doesn't stay at the bottom of the screen like it does on the desktop but it actually scrolls with you on both devices. Although actually maybe the storm now has that worked out because it looks like it's, it's not doing it quite as much but the iPhone still is. Um, but anyway, you can get to basically, oh no, now the storm is, yeah. You can get to basically the full version of the site on both things. So it's nice, you've got the option. You can use the downloadable app for kind of a more utilitarian experience to get to, you know, quickly looking at updates or posting updates, that kind of stuff. Or if you really want to get the whole Facebook experience, both phones have full HTML browsers. And so you can, uh, you can't play the Flash games and that kind of stuff, but you can do, you know, get the full layout, the normal desktop version you're used to and get most of the functionality that way via the browsers. So there you go, it's a quick look, a little dogfight here, mini dogfight, Facebook on the iPhone and the Blackberry Storm. Much more on both these devices and everything else in the world of mobile and gadgets, now with our new Gadget Dog coverage over on PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching, I'm Noah, that's me right up there, and like it says, I'm shooting a video. We'll see you later.